Hello, dear students. How are you? Hope you have learned how to draw a cuboid of given dimension on an isometric sheet. As promised, in this video, we will be learning how to draw a cube of given dimension on an isometric sheet. So we are going to take up the segment tool and we are using the software GeoGebra. I hope you have downloaded that. If not, then please download it. The link is provided in the description. It's a very useful and interactive software. So let us first learn how to draw a cube whose edge is given. Edge dimension is, say, for example, three units. So we mark a point on the isometric sheet and move diagonally three units, right? So we get a segment AB. It is one edge of the cube. Now start again from point A and go in the left diagonal direction and we get another edge that is AC of uh, dimension 3 units. Now from point C we will go vertically up 3 units 1, 2, 3. Similarly from point A we will go vertically up 1, 2, 3 units and then from point B we will go vertically up one, two, three units. And uh, here we can, you know, bring this down. And then this also we can drag a little higher. Okay. So let us complete this. So we join D to E and then E to F. And imagine a point here which is three units away from F and you see that this GF is parallel to DE and join GD. So this is the isometric sketch of a cube and you see that in the isometric sketch the front side is visible, the right side of the cube is visible and the top is visible. So how it is inclined, that is very, very important. So you see the angle between the edges from this point E. This, uh, let, let us see what is this measurement. So angle A, E, F, you will notice that it is 120 degrees. Similarly, if we try to see what is angle D, E, a, it is also 120 degrees and the remaining angle is also 120 degrees. Let us see what is this D, E. Okay, let me go back. We will again choose the angle tool. Start from here, F. This is the angle tool, F, then E, and then D. So when we click in this order, we get this angle measurement. So let me move this so that you can clearly see the measurement of these angles around the point E. And we see that some of the three angles here is 360 degrees. So basically, you will see that how we visualize a cube in three dimensions on the isometric sheet. So this is how the isometric drawings are done. Interestingly here, one more thing I would like to share with you. Say for example, I try to draw a line like this. For example, I take a point here. Okay. And then you will realize that if we draw a horizontal line like this, then this angle HAB comes out to be 30 degrees. Similarly, if we take a point on the left side, say for example, I'm taking a point here, I. So this angle, let us take the angle measure tool. This angle I, A, okay, uh, I have to change the direction. So let me again choose the angle tool. 
this angle C A I is again 30 degrees. So on the isometric sheet, you will find that uh, this angle is 30 degree. If we draw uh, a horizontal line, then uh, the edges which are coming up here, they are at an angle of 30 degree from, from this uh, horizontal line. Okay. So this is the basic idea of uh, isometric sketches. Now I would uh, uh, ask you to draw a cube of uh, side, say, four units, how you will start. Okay, you can take a point anywhere. Okay, let me mark a point here, say, for example. So what will be the first step? Okay, we will be going right in the right direction, diagonally up, four units. Then in the left direction, one, two, three, four units. Then four units vertically up from the three vertices. One, two, three, four. It is very simple. You need to practice. One, two, three, four. Yes. And then from point K also, we do the same. Okay. We can again set this. No issues. So use this uh, software GeoGebra and uh, you will have a lot of isometric sheets available and you can practice drawing various three-dimensional shapes so see how easy it is to draw a cube isn't it so in the next video we will learn how to draw a prism